Hey guys, another e-bike video coming at you live from the Inja Compound. We are looking at the Velotrek e-bike today. This is a Velotrek Discover One. It's a 48 volt, 13 amp hour or so battery pack. It has a 500 watt motor and it's UL certified, which is important because, you know, it was fire tested, make sure it's like super safe and everything. So let's get this thing out of the box and just see what we're looking at. All right, so here it is, the Velotrek Discover One e-bike. Now this is a step-through design, which has actually gotten a lot more popular recently. Basically, you don't have to swing your leg over, you kind of just put your foot through there to get on it. And yeah, my first impression is, it's actually a decently high quality made bike. The wheels and everything definitely feel a lot better than the standard e-bike. But obviously, if you're paying $1,800 for an e-bike, it's obviously not gonna be like the premium of the premium. There are a lot of parts that I have seen before on other e-bikes as well but overall really good feeling really good looking and it's got all the convenience functions that are definitely nice to have that you don't really need like headlight tail light a lot of e-bikes don't come with those kind of things they're pretty cheap to add so I do appreciate when e-bikes do come with that kind of stuff because not every e-bike comes with a headlight or tail light and that kind of thing and again just a review of the specs of this thing it's a 48 volt uh, 13 amp hour or so battery it has a 500 watt motor that is actually Velotrek branded in the rear as well. It's got a storage rack on the back if you gotta go get some stuff and carry stuff around. And the screen on it is definitely not bad at all. It's nothing super fancy, but it it's not bad. So this has three power assist settings. And uh, I don't know the top speed on it just yet. I don't know the full range on it just yet. Obviously, I have to take it out to the road, get my first initial impressions, and then I'll take it on its full range test and its top speed, get all those real life usage specs for you guys to see how it actually performs in real world use. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Really nice looking e-bike so far. So I'm gonna get it charged up 100% and once it's topped off, we'll get this thing out on the road and see how it does. And if you guys haven't seen these cool air inflator pumps on the website, go ahead and check it out. I got like 18 of these bad boys left. They're so handy. I have not even charged this one since I took it out of the box. I've aired up a couple motorcycle wheels and everything with it. It's still on full charge, so. X gonna give it to you. All right, riding the Velotrick Discover One e-bike. See how she does. Right off the bat, it's nice and smooth. 17 miles per hour, 19 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour. Ah, looks like it's getting up to about 21. That wasn't long enough to see if it was a top speed or not. But, yeah, it, right off the bat, obviously it feels like a 500 watt motor. There's more powerful ones out there. There's less powerful ones out there. A 500 watt motor is good for commuting, I would say. It doesn't draw a whole lot of battery, so I'm expecting a decent amount of range out of this bike. But it's not like, it's not like you're going to go like mountain biking up steep hills with this thing, you know? Yeah, anyway, right off the bat, feels nice. Feels really nice. It's a well-balanced, cool-looking bike. Yeah, getting right about 20 miles per hour. There's a wind against me right now, but right about 20.6. Yeah, yeah, right about 20 miles per hour, which is the legal limit for these bikes. And uh, yeah, it's decently. It's definitely pretty comfortable. The handlebars were definitely designed 
to be more comfortable this is a cruiser bike definitely a commuter kind of thing and it definitely feels nice yeah no complaints there as far as comfort the seat after you sit on it for like an hour i'm sure will start to feel a little stiff but that's like every other bicycle so i won't hold it too hard against this bike definitely one of the more comfortable cruisers definitely and really cool looking just just being on this bike is pretty cool and uh, we're currently at 0.7 miles this is on a full charge right now so this is counting towards the full range test you guys know how I do these this is this is a test this is not like a full-on review where I schmooze up to the company because they sent me a free bike this is me giving you guys the real world specs what you can really expect from this bike as far as range and top speed and everything goes. So tomorrow I am going to just be tearing down a bike trail, full throttle, no pedaling, just see how far it'll take me. And that's what you guys can expect if you ride it like a motorcycle. That's how I do these. So my initial impression is definitely not bad for a e-bike that's in the mid $1,000 range. Uh, cool looking, full size, very comfortable to ride so far. And, uh, Oh, got 21 miles per hour, how about that? And it's about as fast as any other e-bike. There are some obviously that go a few miles per hour faster as a top speed, but legal limit is 20 miles per hour. So anyway, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna just catch you guys tomorrow when we actually do the full range test and everything. And uh, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this on a full range test right now. I'm just gonna go head out on a bike trail. You guys know how I do this. It's just all throttle and uh, no pedaling at all. Basically just seeing how far it'll get me if I ride this thing like a motorcycle. Cause most people get an electric bike so they don't really have to pedal. So that's what I'm testing out. I won't bring you guys along for much of this, but I'll just see you guys when I get back and I'll let you guys know how many miles I got. All right, so I made it back home after a good long ride and I didn't kill the bike just yet, but we're on 20 miles and it'll probably go for another five miles or so with the current charge on the battery. So mid 20 miles of range, not bad for, I mean, this is pretty, it's pretty standard for an e-bike of this class, but it is just above average. So my overall thought on this bike is that it's a very good looking, kind of cool, unique bike. A lot of people were looking at it and I went to a coffee shop and whatnot. Lots of people were checking it out. Maybe it's just cause I'm so good looking, but maybe it's the bike <laughs> as well who knows but yeah very cool looking bike very cool bike to ride on and definitely more comfortable than a lot of the e-bikes also in this class again comes with a lot of good little features that some e-bikes don't come with a tail light that's on all the time headlight that you can turn on and turn off as you please it does have a cargo rack which is very nice little uh, like white wall brown wall tires pretty cool but as far as equipment goes it is pretty standard for e-bikes in this class I know the camera doesn't capture it super well but the yellow color is actually Actually really nice like I'm not a huge fan of yellow vehicles but this one actually is cool so there you guys have it that's the fellow trick discover one overall a really nice e-bike very cool looking very comfortable bike to ride on the range is a little bit above average and as far as power goes it's a 500 watt motor but it definitely felt really nice even up hills on the bike trail that I was going on there were a lot of dips up and down slopes and it handled just fine so there you guys have it pretty decent e-bike for the price uh, if you guys do want to check it out, there is a link in the description. I hope you guys had fun watching this video, and, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time.